Hey guys, so we are heading out of town. We finally got rain for the first time in like, probably like a month or over. And so I wanna do a video just showing like what things look like before we leave. And then um, when we come back, see how much things have grown. And then, you know, when you get that rain, like that always boosts plants. Like they do, they look so much better um, after a good, good rain. So we got rain yesterday and then we're getting probably rain um not today but tomorrow and we'll still be gone so when we come back i'll do um the second part of this video so let's go out and check out what things look like at this very very moment all right so we're not gonna go through everything but we're definitely gonna take a quick look around those are those containers i planted with you they have majority uh, proven winners plants, except for this um, sweet potato vine. There's the herb garden. Here are two tropical containers I planted. There's a little container. I've got uh, firelight tidbit hydrangeas back here. We've got cola, or not colas, but um. Coral bells, blue fescue. Here's another tropical container. Let's just see how these things look before we go. Sweet peas, I'm taking those out as soon as we come back. Hi, babies. Are you gonna be good while I'm gone, huh? Here's our herb garden on the chicken coop looks really good it's doing super well the containers in the chicken run Got containers there that hanging basket looks amazing everything's looking pretty good right now I've tried my hardest to keep up with watering it's been difficult especially since like my drip is acting up so like the drip connects all the way from the other side of the house to here and once it gets to this cut flower garden, it like pretty much barely works. So I've been hand watering up there until I can get things fixed. Here's this side. Ferns, hostas. We come back this way. This is the entrance. It's looking gorgeous. Except for these sweet peas. I don't know what I'm gonna put in here next. Probably something edible and then something flowering so maybe like some petunias or something along here let's just take a look this is my stockpile of things to plant my banana that i thought was dead is back and it looks gorgeous this uh the mother stem d did die so I, I will have to hack that off of there here's the raised bed garden I had to flip my sweet peas over because they kept flopping so I had to flop them the other way <laughs> everything looks good the raccoons have been digging in this bed they've been digging in pretty much everything this is where they knocked over my um, little herb planter that I was trying to have you know tall because it looks prettier tall as opposed to short yeah Look at my hosta woo, guys. I mean, so big, so big, beautiful. Clematis, gorgeous rose here. I'll put the name on the screen because I don't remember at the moment. It is a proven winner's uh, climber. Doesn't climb too high. It's like a midway climber. Look at this hosta woo. Rising Sun Red Butt looks amazing. Remember the Ligulari I planted with you and the banana. Looking good back here. I planted this bed up with begonias, snapdragons, coluses. Got my digitalis is looking great.
cut flower garden is coming along. I believe that hosta right there is a hosta woo also. Um, I did not plant that, it was already here. There's a view, garden space. It's a little cloudy today. There are my super tunias that I planted in the hanging self-watering containers. They look pretty good. They're doing really well. One of these days, guys, I'm gonna have some land even farther out in the country and all this traffic, I won't have it anymore. I'll be so happy. Anyway, so I've got this veggie garden bed here that I planted up. Um, the raccoons have been digging in there too. Hopefully they won't mess with it while we're gone. The garlic is gonna come out next week. Um, well, we'll see. Um, for garlic, you want the majority of the leaves to um, yellow, and then you have a couple of green leaves. So we're just kind of waiting on that process. More tropical containers that got planted up. There are separate videos for this. So I'm not gonna go into any details, but they're gorgeous. Hanging containers, another bed of garlic. Everything's looking amazing. Oh man. So gorgeous. Let's check that view down there. Pretty. So beautiful out here. The rain really did come down pounding because this hydrangea is kind of wayward. my hibiscus a little a little wayward too these hydrangeas are waking up got my clematis over here doing his thing looking amazing my snow sickle hydrangea oak leaf cannot wait to see these blooms change colors and I will be spreading um, some deer stuff before we head out, which I need to, you know, do that because we're going to be leaving soon. Look at this. Now, if I could just get my neighbor's house <laughs> out of all the videos, because then it will be such a picturesque view. Picturesque. Gorgeous. All right, guys, that is all I'm going to share right now. So I'll see you guys again when we get back and we do another walkthrough of the back area. Hey guys so we're back from vacation and let me show you what is going on so we had a big rainstorm last night um, and everything looks kind of beaten down to be honest I was hoping to have like you know a couple of rains and everything bounces back and it looks gorgeous but it looks really really messy out here and we've got a lot of like 
stuff coming out of the gutters because our gutters are full of leaves and things and they need to be cleaned so with the rain amount of rain we got last night it just like pushed everything out everything poured over the side and it's just making a mess everywhere but here are the two door containers they look good still here is my herb garden we have been dealing with raccoons and they have been causing a lot of damage and they caused some damage last night so let me show you right here i have my hookara seedlings they dug in there they dug the bulb out of this and put it right there i'm not sure why but there's that all of my and then they dug this up all of these containers are full of water i have not gotten to dump everything yet i'm a little i'm a little i'm a little upset and it is because the raccoons and then the this container here one of my tropical containers something dug in there which was a raccoon because i'm like like look how deep that is what was it looking for squirrels don't typically go that deep into a pot and i got my little canna right there that's just hanging on the side hanging for dear life but other than that these pots look really good the sweet peas here i know for a fact that they're damaged because of the raccoons because they walk through here trying to get in after my chickens and that is why they look so terrible there's something was digging right there and something dug right there and some uh there's lettuce um that they pulled out from the chicken coop so i stuck lettuce through the back here for the girls and the boys and they dug they pulled it out through the bars and then right here they completely destroyed this more lettuce that they pulled out um let's see what else what what is wonderful is that my chickens are safe um none of them were killed which is awesome um, I am happy about that. Plants can be replaced. Planters can be fixed, but you can't bring back, you know, your favorite pets. So on this herb, <laughs> herb thing, we've got one who dug out here and he's actually on video. I have him on the camera, coop cam over here walking on this thing. So he dug there. This thing is not even in the ground anymore. He or she, they or them dug out this one. And they dug out this right here. This is time. And I can see the little dirty handprints here. I can see little dirty uh, little dirt marks up here so and I, I saw them on video too um but again thankfully my my chickens are safe um ever since we started doing this we haven't had them getting into the run um thank goodness and then i even this green part is part of my the old nestera run that we used to have connected to our nestera coop sorry it's a lot out here and then this part is part of the run too. So those these pieces have actually come in handy um, in securing this bigger run. Okay, so this is not about the raccoons. This is about the garden. Well, I mean, they're attacking the garden, but yes, after vacation tour. So here's what it looks like from this angle. The ferns are bigger than I remember 
taking over like they do. Everything has started looking so good, you know, outside of the rain. Look at this crinum lily in bloom. Ooh, that's gorgeous. Gorgeous. Hostas. Everything looks so good out here. The vegetable garden looks amazing. I was doing some pruning yesterday, which I need to pick up. Cut flower garden looks pretty good. I finally cut off the um, flower from my um, rhubarb. Cut flowers looking pretty good. It's really early here and kind of, kind of uh, cloudy, so that's why my video might look a little darkened. Everything looks good. The garden beds don't seem to have been, the raised beds don't seem to have been dug in. Here's this view. Gosh, I just really wish those raccoons would just disappear. Cause I care about my plants and you know, the hard work that I put in and they just come in like destroy it and I know it's more than one what in the heck a chipmunk chipmunk just ran um but yeah they just come in and and destroy everything but I mean that's groundhogs do that they destroy everything rabbits <laughs> rabbits come in they destroy everything there's always going to be some kind of pest pressure birds come in and do stuff um there's always going to be some kind of some kind of pest pressure but the garden looks so much better okay little did you see that chipmunk he just ran cannas are looking really good Oh my gosh, is there another chipmunk? Just saw something at the corner of my eye. I think it's a chipmunk. Containers are looking amazing over here. I just can't believe they dug in my other can of containers. Like what? Oh, hi buddy. Oh, look guys, you see him? See, my problem is, is I think that these animals are cute. And so I don't start trying to get rid of them until they start destroying my garden. Once they start destroying my garden and I notice, you know, what they're doing, then I will take measures. But usually that's after a lot of damage. <clears throat> and I don't want to do that anymore. My hosta, or I'm sorry, my hydrangea incredible is splayed out. Probably because of the water that was coming off the gutters. It's beautiful though. It's in bloom and it looks amazing. Look at that. Gorgeous. My hibiscus is splayed out too. And I'm not exactly sure why, if something has been walking on it or if it's just, you know, the heavy rain. Waiting for my limelights to bud up. They're kind of the last ones. Well, they're starting now, but you know, it's June and look, we're just now starting to bud up on the limelights. Um, some of the other ones, Pinky Winky, um, Firelight, they are 
starting to butt up as well, which is nice. It's the, the panicles seem to take a little bit longer um, to do that uh, than the other hydrangeas. So like you've got the oak leaf and the arborescence um, big leaf hydrangeas. They seem to butt up a lot um, sooner than the others. So happy this this is still here and that deer haven't come and taken it from me. Everything looks really good. It's my other incredible hydrangeas down here. Everything looks looks pretty good. My clematis here on its way out. Um it put on a really good show this year so gorgeous we do have um, a couple of buds up here still that um should open but most everything has started to go to seed so Everything looks pretty good. Nice and big. Let's see this way. My begonias and roses. This is at last rose looking beautiful. I think this is also oh easy. I can't remember exact which oh so easy that is. At last. Nice full border there. Everything's filling in so well. Let me show you these. I think these are my candy, uh, candy corn spirea. So let me show you. They're starting to bloom. They look amazing. Isn't that just a pretty picture right there? You've got the hostas, and then you've got the darmera. And you've got the Brennera, and then you've got the Spirea and Bloom. So gorgeous. I've got to cut back the Brennera. It's looking good though. And then here's our junk pile. Just sitting. These boxes got rained on, so they're going to be horrible to drag up to the top of the garage. This is what it looks like. Everything's looking pretty good. Other than some minor raccoon damage. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, we had a great time on vacation and then come back and are still dealing, dealing with the raccoons. Um, it's just uh, so much hard work, you know, just to see it just ripped out of the ground so easily. Like, it's just annoying, but um, yeah. All right, so let me know what you guys think in the comments, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!